Platelets are responsible for forming blood clots, scabs, that sort of thing. We all know that, but they also have a lot of regenerative growth factors, anti-inflammatory growth factors, and even some antimicrobial effects. So PRP is where we draw the blood from the horse, spin it down, isolate that fraction of the plasma that has a lot of the platelets in it. And then we use that to actually inject in a soft tissue injury and an injured joint, pretty much anywhere the horse has an injury. We put that product right in there, that platelet product right in there and get a really good regenerative anti-inflammatory effect from it. So that's what we're doing on this mare. She's got a bone cyst in her coffin bone. Um, pretty difficult thing to manage. So we're, we're hoping that this PRP really helps her to turn around and gets her back to work. What we're doing is just blocking that foot. That fear to feel the actual injection with the PRP. Stretch with PRP, I like them to hold nice and still. Let me take my time to get into the joint. Make sure treatment goes perfectly. Make sure I don't get kicked while I'm down there playing around. So I find blocking the foot before you do anything is really good later. Make sure everything else goes quite smooth. She has a sterile scrub over her jugular vein, which is where we're gonna draw the blood from to process this PRP. Then everything inside this kit is also sterile. Everything is handled sterily. So each one of these individually packaged items is pulling sterile from drawing the blood to isolating the platelets. We're not going to get any blood clots in there. We fill up a predetermined amount of that based on how much blood you're going to draw. And then we'll draw some blood. We'll pull up 60 cc's for this particular kit. Invert multiple times to make sure the blood thoroughly mixes with our anticoagulant. Again, we want to keep all those platelets in suspension, not clotted. Also, we got our blood as anticoagulant loaded into the centrifuge system. And now you click on, it'll do its initial spin. That's a 60 second spin. And after that spin, here we actually separate the cells from the rest of the blood product. So we watch that line of red cells as it goes down. And once it's between these two lines, that's when we know we've got it in the right spot. Dry about there, and then switch it to two, and then that spins off the rest of it and leaves us just with that platelet rich portion. Mm -hmm. That's that. This is what we're going to use to actually pull up our PRP product, which is on the bottom of this centrifugation system. So I kind of wiggle it around there to make sure I'm getting every little bit of that stuff that's down in there. The most bang for you buck. So with these kits, you typically get anywhere from four to six cc's. So she gave us right about five, a little over five with some bubbles in there. And then this is the product that will actually go and stick back into this coffin joint that we're treating. What I would hope to see based on this horse, what we're treating her for is that we put this in that coffin joint and we see soundness and good performance for a year with the problem that she has. I would be very, very happy with that. Stick that in the coffin joint. We've got good fluid there, a lot of fluid. And good, I just mean we have fluid. It's poor quality, super watery, which is why we're sticking this stuff in here. Flows nice and easy. There you have it.